I'll keep things brief and short. I know you want to go on rank, but before you do, there are some important things that you gotta take care of. And it all starts right when you boot the game. You want to turn off motion blur so you don't get distracted while you're playing against your opponent. And as for the camera shake, that one is really dependent on you. My preference is to keep it on low or even off. But if you want to create it really high, just know there's a chance the camera might not keep up with you. So this is a game all about particle effects going crazy. You don't want your brightness to be so high. So when you go for an ultimate or if your opponent goes for an ultimate, you're completely lost on what to do. That's when you go on the setting for brightness, you want to crank it down to the point where you can see the game. But you don't want to crank it too high to the point where every little particle effect is going to distract you from your opponent. You definitely want to lower the voice of the characters. If you're in the middle of the fight and you keep playing this game hundreds and hundreds of times, you're going to get tired of hearing the hoo, 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 hoo. Every single time you're in a fight. Not even to mention the fact you're not there to hear the grunts of a character. You're there for sparking zero. So you might as well lower it just enough to where if you want to hear them say like a ha! And now we get to the bread and butter. See, the combo assist for a first timer like me, I find it to be really helpful. Same with the other combo assists. However though, revenge counter really isn't a good one to keep on. If you're a player that wants to keep all your skill points, use them wisely within the game. This will automatically trigger a revenge counter right when you get hit. And that takes two of your skill points. With the fact that skill points cannot be charged manually and only can be charged over time, these skill points are crucial for any fight that you do in Sparking Zero. So to have this on manual so you can choose when you want it is really the best way to go. Now, the debate between standard controller and classic controller, for me, I use custom controllers. I don't really use either. I don't have my block be circle and R1. I have my block be something else. For my charging, I actually use the down D-pad. I actually kind of remember Raging Blast and I kind of use that similar control setup for my personal settings. This game does not have roll bat net code. It won't be flawless as Guilty Gear or some of these fighting games that we have nowadays. Currently it is delay based net code, which means there will be lag. And if you guys are doing particle effects back, right, down, you know what I mean? Don't be surprised when your game starts moving like it's in two frames per second. Just know you sign up for this and it doesn't change the fact that this Dragon Ball game is about to be the best in history. Now with all that said, you can finally go enjoy some Dragon Ball Sparking ranked battles. Subscribe, stay tuned for Sparking Zero content and other Dragon Ball content. And until next time, thank you for watching you guys. Stay Stay safe and peace.